This lesson shows you how to teach a component to listen to input from the mouse. The example program uses a canvas component to report the position of mouse clicks. The clicker class is a frame used to display a canvas object of the clicker canvas class. Notice these two import statements for things that are used in the clicker canvas class. The mouse listener interface is implemented by a class that wishes to receive mouse input from a window. The incoming information about a mouse is stored in a mouse event object and is passed to the methods defined by the mouse listener interface. It's not nearly as confusing as it sounds. Let, let me show you. The Clicker Canvas class implements the mouse listener interface, which means it implements the methods necessary to receive incoming mouse information. It also extends the Canvas class, making it a component. A component is capable of listening for input from the mouse and passing it on to the listeners. The add mouse listener method is a method of the component class. A component receives all input from the mouse and reports each mouse event to all mouse listeners in its internal list of mouse listeners. Besides being a component, this class is also a mouse listener so we call this method to put itself in its own list. We could have had some other class act as the mouse listener, and we would have added it to the list instead of adding this. You can add a bunch of mouse listeners to the list of a component, and they'll all receive messages about the mouse. The mouse clicked method is one of the ones required by the mouse listener interface. It gets called every time a mouse button is pressed and then released, that is, when it is clicked. The information about the mouse click is packed into a mouse event object. This includes the X and Y positions of the mouse along with some other useful information. For example, it tells you which mouse button was pressed and whether Shift or Alt or something else was being held down when the mouse button was clicked. There is also a millisecond level timestamp indicating when the mouse was clicked. This timestamp can be used to determine whether there was a double click or whether they are just two single clicks. But right now, the only things we're interested in are the X and Y position of the mouse pointer. Then we want to update the display to show this new location, so a call is made to repaint once we've stashed the new X and Y values. Now this method is called every time the mouse pointer enters the window. The same mouse event object is passed to show the point of entry. A mouse can enter the window from any of its sides or even in the middle by having the window pop up under the mouse pointer. This boolean flag is set to true to indicate that the mouse is now inside the window. Once the X and Y values of the location of the mouse have been captured, a call is made to repaint to update the display. The opposite of the mouse entered is the mouse exited method. This method is called every time the mouse leaves the window. The program doesn't care where it left the window, but the boolean flag inside is set to indicate that the mouse pointer is now outside the window, and repaint is called so the screen will be updated. Now two more methods are required by the mouse listener interface. The mouse pressed method is called whenever a mouse button is pressed, and the mouse released method is called when a button is released. For this program, all we need is the mouse clicked method, which sort of summarizes these two into a single method call. We'll be using these later when we start dragging stuff around the screen. The window is painted one way if the mouse is inside the window, and another if it's outside. If it's inside, the background of the window is filled with red, and the X and Y position values are displayed at the current XY location. If the mouse pointer is outside the window, it's filled with pink and nothing else is displayed. When the program is compiled and run, it looks like this.